everyone, I'm Colleen with Awaken Catholic, and this is Awaken the Saint. Today's saint was a polymath in the fields of law, theology, philosophy, and music, and became so well known for his skills voration that he earned the nickname the Golden Speaker. Saint John of Damascus, or John Damascene, was a monk, a priest, a hymnographer, and an apologist, born and raised in Damascus around the year 675 AD. After receiving a classical and theological education, John followed in the footsteps of his father as a government official under the Islamic Arab rule. Then sometime between 730 and 735, he left his position in court to become a monk and eventually a priest in the Mar Saba Monastery near Jerusalem. It was during this time that he composed his nearly 150 important written works, including the most significant one titled The Fountain of Knowledge. This text was a synthesis of Christian philosophy and doctrine, which influenced medieval Latin thought and became the textbook for Greek Orthodox theology. This work consisted of three distinct parts. One, philosophical discussion. The second, dealing with heresies. And the third was his treatise on the exposition of the Orthodox faith, which summarized the Greek fathers, of which he became the last one. This work is said to be for the Eastern schools what the Summa of Aquinas is for the West. Another source of inspiration for John's writings came from a controversy which arose early in the 8th century. During this time in history, iconoclasm was taking over the Catholic world. This was a school of thought that opposed the veneration of icons. Fully committed to the movement, Emperor Leo III issued an edict in 717 against the public display and veneration of holy images within the Byzantine Empire. John took special interest in the controversy and passionately opposed the iconoclasts in defense of holy images. In his writings and sermons, he made compelling arguments arguments in a simplified manner that the common people could understand. This stirred rebellion within the iconoclasts. After his death, decades later in 787, his writings became an influential part of the Council of Nicaea, which convened to settle the matter of icons. One legend surrounding John and his veneration of holy images involves his being falsely accused of a plot to attack Damascus. In response to the accusation, the Caliph of Damascus had John's right hand cut off and hung in public view. For days, John prayed in front of an image of the Theotokos, asking for Mary's intercession that his hand might be healed. Miraculously, his hand was restored, and in thanksgiving for this miracle, he attached a silver hand to the icon, now called the three-handed Theotokos. Whether the legend is true or not, we cannot fully say, but the image itself does exist and now hangs in the Highlander Monastery of the Holy Mountain in Greece. John of Damascus' influence upon the Catholic world of philosophy, theology, hymns, and veneration of holy images made Pope Leo XIII declare him a doctor of the church in 1890. We are so lucky to have saints like John who defended the use of icons, adding to the richness and beauty of the faith. Saint John of Damascus, pray for us.